Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back. Today is Tuesday, July 10th. I got my walk-in of 13,274 steps in before I headed here. <laughs> Waiting for my doctor, getting my lab results back from my thyroid panel. And this happens. Pharmacy close till two o'clock. Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It is Friday the 13th. I didn't go work out today. I've got a little tweak in my knee. I don't know what happened, so I'm taking the day off. So here we go. The entire month of June, guys, I decided I was not gonna use anything other than stevia, erythritol, and or monk fruit. And that actually went really well. I would say out of the entire 30 days, I had maybe a total of four days that I had some slip ups. Uh, one day I was at my friend's house. She had some of the Diet Gold Peak tea and I drank some. And boy howdy guys, it was sweet. I, when you drink it every day, you don't realize how sweet it is. And then boom, you have a sip of it after not having any for weeks and you're like, whoa, when they tell you that these artificial sweeteners are 100 times sweetener than the table sugar, they're not lying. It just takes being away from it a little bit to actually realize that. That was one slip up. And then David came home like three days before the challenge was over with a big red zero. I had a sip, it was so good. And what did that lead to? A full one the next day. I think I had maybe, I think I did it three more. I think I did it the rest of the month. I do, I think I did, I can't remember. Um, and I've been continuing a little bit uh, here and there. So I've got to get that under control. I don't think it's a terrible thing, uh, but hey, if I want to try to clean up my act, then I, then I should. Uh, I'm not gonna be militant about it. I'm not gonna be, you get off that artificial sweetener. I'm not gonna be doing that to you guys. I don't think that's necessary. I think that you gotta be where you are. And if you're content with doing it, have at it guys. I'm in a different place. I have medical issues. I'm in menopause. I am trying to figure out what's going on with my body. Do what fits your lifestyle. Don't let anybody tell you that what you're doing is wrong, including myself. So um, I hope you did take it that way. It's just a challenge for me and for you in case perhaps you thought maybe it was something that was hindering your weight loss. Now, it would have been great if I could have tested it with a healthy thyroid. So what happened on the scale? Let me tell you, the entire month I fluctuated four pounds and I did that prior to the challenge. So nothing changed on the scale, guys, nothing changed. I will not say that that, that would have happened had my thyroid been functioning properly. I don't know. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now that once my thyroid gets under control, I might do another strict month of it and see what happens. I'll tell you again that from here on out, I will purchase the unsweetened um, gold peak tea for the most part, but I'm not gonna restrict myself and say I can't have my, um, my diet gold peak tea. So we'll just see. I will freely admit that I enjoy the unsweetened tea with my splash of uh, stevia. So it is not a huge loss if I don't use my gold peak tea, my diet gold peak tea. Inch wise, I think um, about, it stay the same. Yeah, I mean, there might've been a quarter inch difference. It's kind of hard because, you know, you're not gonna get exactly, you don't know how taut you had it before. So I try to be as, as you know, realistic about it and it didn't change much and that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with this guys. Like I said, uh, the biggest, the biggest, results I'm going to find is after we stabilize my thyroid. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about that. You guys saw a few months ago where I went and got my blood drawn and my thyroid panel came back as wonky as heck. Let's look at the paperwork here. I went on May the 1st and the thyroid. How bad was it? If you remember, it was a 42. And some of you guys said, Alma, I've never heard of a number that high. I've had it way higher than this, guys. So normal range is 0 0.4 to 4.1, guys. That's where you wanna be on your thyroid stimulating hormone. That actually tells the thyroid work, work, work. My thyroid said, no, no, no. So the number for me was right here, guys. See, that's the number 42.87 out of range. So I'm significantly out of range. So my doctor took me from 125 to 150 on my dose. We skipped the middle dose of the 137 and took me straight to the 150. I was supposed to get my blood work done on June 7th. I didn't. Why? I don't know. I, the self-sabotage has got to stop, Alma. I don't know. So I didn't do it until um, I had to go to the doctor with my mom. So right next to my mom's doctor is a ClinPath. And luckily I thought 
I'll take my blood work with me. And mom had to get work, blood work done. I got blood work done. And so, got those results back. Went and saw my doctor. And she said, Alma, you're messed up still. I said, I know, Dr. BG, tell me something I didn't already know. So again, same range as expected. And my results came back. Right there, guys, see it? 16. So I am at a 16.69 on my results. So I'm still quite a ways off. I need to go down at least 12 points and till and by the and then I'll be in range. She felt comfortable enough to take me from 150 um, and skipping the middle dose and taking me straight to 175. So I'm taking 175. Uh, we're only going to do that for at least a month. I'm going to get my blood work done again in a month's time and we'll see if I am taking too much at that point in time and or not enough. And sometimes I've noticed that I am speaking like really fast. So I think it's already having an effect on me. Um, I'm not feeling hyper, but I do feel like my cognitive skills are a little bit more sharp. But I'm also on a really good vitamin regime because my husband is taking such good care of me, who, by the way, isn't trying to lose weight anymore because he reached goal and this morning, 181.3. I wanted to smack him. I was like, ah, but you know what? It's reassuring for me because I'm feeding him the foods that I eat. Granted, different quantities, I'm feeding him the food that I eat and he's losing weight. So it tells me, Alma, it's you. It's not the diet. It's not the foods that you're cooking. It's simply you. You maintained it for so long. Your thyroid went out of whack. You've been through a lot. Just take a deep breath, Alma. It's okay. Get your thyroid under control and we'll see where that takes us. So that leads me to telling you guys, if you're doing everything right, everything right, be honest with yourself. If you're doing everything right, guys, and it's still not coming off, please go get your blood work done. Please look at me. I know better. I've had 27 years of thyroid issues. I just said menopause. Great to just label it that, but guess what? I injured myself that way. I allowed myself to gain some weight. I allowed myself to not feel optimal. So don't do that to yourself. Go get your blood work done. And if your blood work all comes back normal, then it's something else. But let me tell you this, if you have thyroid issues, if you don't have thyroid issues, if you suspect thyroid issues, make sure they test everything, all right? I'm gonna tell you what my doctor tests for. Thyroid two profile, all right? So thyroid two profile. She did for me the um, CMP2 lipid iron CBC thyroid two panel. All right, so um, I will tell you this, iron, I'm always iron deficient. My iron, I mean, significantly iron deficient to where she threatens to go take me in for an infusion. It's not a transfusion, I think they call that an infusion. But she's threatened me with that before. Range is 37 to 145, I was 102. So I know that the foods that I'm eating that are so rich in iron, such as my lovely liver, guys, is good for you, especially if you're doing if you're doing carnivore guys consider your organ i'm optimistic because it's still low i am starting to have some energy especially since we raised my levels to the 175 um, i feel very optimistic uh, i told you guys i exercise five to seven days a week here lately it's closer to the end of the five range and um we're talking burning maybe a thousand calories i'll walk i'll ride my bike i will walk and ride my bike i'm very active so it doesn't make sense to not be losing weight other than the fact that i've got this thyroid issue going on so guys that is my update uh, i am sorry i've been absent uh, <laughs> You see these bags? Yeah, I'm tired. I'm spending significant hours a day with my mom, which is a blessing. It's a good thing, but it leaves, but it's taken away time from my um, schedule here. Thankfully, one of my sisters is retired and she takes care of our mom on a daily basis. So I'm there helping her out. And uh, for those of you that are caretakers for family members, there is a special place in heaven for all of you guys. So anyway, guys, that kind of wraps it up. I hope to be um, present a little bit more often and getting in front of the camera. Uh, it's just hard, guys. You don't want to see me without makeup, trust me. This, this is pretty pale with makeup. Can you imagine me without? So I try not to do that to you guys. Really a public service to not do that. And I've shared that with y'all before. So on. August 5th, I should be in the doctor's office getting my blood work done. 
hopefully finding out that I've got some new ranges that are in range and on my way to sharing a new weight loss journey with you instead of a stable journey with you and or a creeping up there journey with you so guys i look forward to talking to you guys soon if you have any chronic health issues please share with me what it is that you have um it is not fun having conditions such as thyroid um, mine is specifically is hashimoto's thyroiditis and i will tell you this guys if you are a thyroid sufferer and you only take synthroid and you don't take cytomel please talk to your physician especially if you struggle with it talk to your physician about adding cytomel in there uh, the teeth the synthroid i believe only treats t3 whereas cytomel treats t4 it could be opposite but i think that's the way it is if you're on armor thyroid that treats both t3 and t4 so guys get your blood work done thyroid to a panel talk to your doctor so guys, I have a question for you. What brought you to your weight loss journey? What brought you to keto? I um, shared, shared with you guys before that I did the HCG protocol initially and the phase three portion of HCG is actually keto. So they never even call it low carb, but it is. You restrict all of your sugars. Um, during phase three, you're eating high fat, you're eating protein and um, a very select few, uh, and very select veggies. So yeah, it sounds pretty much like keto. And that's what got me into the world of keto. Um, I, like I said, I started in 2012 losing my weight. And um, I come from a family that has all had health issues uh, as far as autoimmune diseases, uh, arthritis, Crohn's, colitis, uh, diabetes, all of that stuff. And I did not want to get stuck in that diabetes issue. I, I do have several siblings, I think over four that have that suffer from diabetes. I didn't want to be the fifth one. So um, I wanted to be there healthy for my kids. None of my kids have ever had weight issues, ever, ever, ever. They're very, very fit. My oldest, Michael, actually explored with keto for a while, really for the health benefits of it. Um, he decided he wanted to branch out a little bit. Um, he initially did paleo, then switched to keto, and is now kind of just doing his own thing, and he's still keeping certain aspects of keto in his life. My youngest son, as I've shared with you on my, um, on my haul is doing uh, kind of a low carb. Uh, he wants to kind of get in optimal shape before he heads back to college next month. So he is restricting carbs and sugars right now. And uh, as many of you guys know, uh, a little over three years ago, I lost my middle son, but he was the specimen of health as well. So all of my boys are the reason why I stay on my health journey. Uh, I, I remember talking to Matthew, my youngest, one day and telling him, you know, he was talking about being proud of me for continuing this. I said, yeah, what would y'all have said if I had gained my weight back? And he was like, well, we wouldn't have said anything to you, mom, but me and Tyler, that's my son that passed, me and Tyler would probably be talking about it behind your back. So, you know, I do my best to stay on this journey, guys. And um, for my, <clears throat> sorry. Sorry, guys, I'm still getting emotional about this. But, um, so I stay on this journey for my, my children to make them happy and so that I can be here for uh, their children. And um, so that's a little bit about me, guys, and why I have chosen keto as my way of living. And I pray that it keeps me with a healthy mind, a healthy brain, um, and uh, yeah, feeling good. So guys, I am off to see my mom and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Share with me why you guys chose um, a ketogenic way of eating and I will see you very soon. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's so neato. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. Thank <laughs> you.